Hello and welcome! Today I'm going to do some gameplay of the Mosquito Mark VI. The specialization tree that I chose was full right tree with the 6 pound cannon on the nose and the 4,000 pound bomb in the bomb bay. I'm going to start off by pulling up high to the left, getting some altitude, while allowing some time for the enemies to get on point before I start my bomb run. I'll now zoom in to get a view of the battlefield, noticing that there is a hat track moving towards Echo, and that will be my first target. Dropping my bomb. Oh, that was a nice kill. Woo. And I get a nice little combo kill. So I flew through the resupply, and I'm going to pull up and gain some altitude. Zooming back in to get a vision of the battlefield. To pick another target. Unfortunately, I don't notice that Tiger moving towards Charlie, but I do see an infantry that I go after, and I get him with my second shot as that AA lights me up. I try to stay low to minimize his angle of attack on me. So on another attack run, I'm on the other side of the map. I'm going to gain my altitude. I'm going to zoom in to get a view of the battlefield and watch for any targets. I do notice an infantry on the edge of that house at Charlie. Hit him and uncover that that's where that tiger is that I missed earlier. So I'm going to climb up the mountain here a little bit. And then pull back around, loading my bomb up. I've got to be careful I don't drop it too close to the ground because I don't want to kick my tail up. And I keep my momentum going. And there we go. A nice clean kill with some collateral. So I've got my altitude, I'm looking for another target. And this bomber pulls up in front of me, so I'm going to engage him. He's stalling out. I should be pulling back. So I'm decelerating a little bit as well. We're both stalled. Unfortunately, we ran. And I got tickled in his wreckage. But luckily, I had enough altitude to break free of that. And now I have to repair through that damage before I go and get another target. After repairing, I'm still at only 85 health, so I'm going to turn around here and go through the resupply, so that way I can finish off my repair. Getting a little altitude now, and topping that off. Now that I'm at 100% and I have some altitude, I'm going to re-engage. I'm going to zoom in and see if I can find a target. I didn't notice anything there, so I'm going to look in my rear view as I'm pulling up, getting altitude. Just another opportunity to watch the battlefield and get a clue as to what to engage. In this case here, I did see another half-track moving out of the uncap. I'm going to lead this shot because the 4,000 pound bomb has a really slow drop rate. I got a nice little double kill on there. So I'm going to rearm, going through the resupply here. I'm going to pull up and gain some altitude. I'm going to survey the battlefield again. I don't notice anything offhand. I don't see any tanks or infantry moving. So I pull up just to gain a little more altitude. So my bomb refreshes. And I notice that shot coming from that AA in that frozen lake. So I'm going to try to engage it. I don't have the best angle. And I slightly overshoot my bomb just missing it and he lights me up pretty good there so I'm gonna stay low I'm gonna try to get some repairs in as I head back to my uncap so I got lucky there uh, pulling up over the battlefield was a dangerous maneuver because you gain altitude you increase your profile and you typically decrease your velocity so it's very easy for an AA or a Flieger Faust to engage you so you definitely want to be careful about that when you do that. So I fully repaired now. Capture the objective, so I have altitude. And now I'm going to survey the battlefield and pick a target. In this case I see some infantry and I've got my six pounder loaded so I'm going to put a couple of shots on there. I'm taking out one guy as he's approaching Delta. I do shoot down another plane with my front machine guns but he's damaged me heavily with his rear guns. So I'm going to repair through that, and in this part of the map, I'm relatively clear of the points, so I should be fairly safe. So I repair here, 
And as I'm repairing, I do notice a plane spawn in right there, and I hear it move behind me. So I check my six to see it continue down that path, so I pull around to try to get on his six. Lining him up, I do some damage with my front machine guns. He's stalling out. I should be decelerating, but I don't. I overshoot him, so I have to pull up on the stick, and I need to decelerate. So as I'm doing that, I can hear his engine noise go further away from me, further to my lower left, so I know that he's pulled away. So I dive down a little bit and get back on his six and re-engage him with my front weapons. Machine gun tearing into him pretty heavily. And I luckily get a six pound shot there right in the side. The reason that I say that is since update 5.2 in December of 2019, the damage model of the six pounder when used against other planes was severely changed such that when attacking from behind you get almost no damage at all of hitting in the tail area. Though I have found some luck in damaging the cockpit area or the front sides of the plane, whether it be from above or the sides, and getting some damage that way. But in general, I will use my machine guns now for consistent damage and only leverage my six pounder against the plane while I wait for my machine guns to cool down. So I do have my altitude. My bomb is refreshing. I am not 100% health, only 81. I probably should have repaired uh, ahead of time. It looks like a sniper has lit up Delta. I get figured hard. I emergency repair as I pull off, almost hit this crane. But I do get the kill. I got that tank and some collateral. That's a very good run there. So as you can see, the Mosquito Mark VI is a very versatile plane. The front machine guns are very effective against bombers, so you need to be careful of the rear-facing guns. It might be advantageous to shoot them at range using first-person view and zooming in. The six-pounder is very effective against infantry and tanks, and that 4,000-pounder is devastating, but it's got a very small blast radius. So you'll need some practice getting those bombs on target, keeping in mind that it does have a very slow drop rate. So a bomber is going high, I'm going to light him up with my front machine guns. I don't have the best angle of attack because I know as soon as he pulls over on this, I'm going to lose him. So I come underneath him, anticipating his bombing run. And I re-engage him with my guns. As those overheat, I switch to my six-pounder. You can see it makes contact, but does not do damage. And I switch back to my main guns to finish him off. Thanks for watching, and have fun on the battlefield.